other fish. Nice to have you with us. Okay, we're going to show you how to set up a dirty tank. This is a 10 gallon aquarium and I've got all the elements ready. So let's take a look and we'll get started. In this bucket, I have peat moss, about two quarts, and black cow, about two quarts. So I've got about a gallon of product. I've got water in it, so I'm mixing it up. I want to get everything thoroughly soaked so that nothing will float. The peat moss is bone dry, so it's real important to get that really good and wet. And they're getting along pretty well here. Okay. Now I have some additive. Uh, half a dozen different chemicals and compound. I'm going to mix them with it. Mix that all together. And this is kind of firm. It's a little more firm than I normally like it. But I think it'll work just fine. Try to get these lumps out. Of the okay, now we're going to take a couple of pans full, put it in the tank, and a four, and level it out. Get it nice and level. Need about about an inch, really not much more. Now I'm going to add dry sand to the top of it. And just spread it in. You want to get about two inches of sand on top of the dirt. It'll hold it down, make sure it doesn't come up through the dirt, not through the tank. As you can see, this is really very simple, very quick, easy, and it gives you an aquarium that will last for 20 years. This is a forever aquarium. And you can see we've got just about two inches, well, maybe a little less, and a little more here on top of the uh, dirt. Let's put a little more in. Get it level. that add water. Now adding water involves not stirring anything up. The room, we're going to put a little bowl in the bottom and then actually I'm siphoning water from the permanent existing tank. I'm going to let it siphon into this bowl and fill the tank. I'm not going to fill it all the way. We'll get it uh, about six inches, about halfway up. Give you an idea what's involved with this. Pretty straightforward. I'm going to move the camera over and take a look at it. We have 
pretty clean water. We've got the sand pretty evenly distributed. Look at the side to make sure that the dirt's thoroughly covered. You don't want any places where it's going to work its way up. There is a little there, but it's really not much. And that's it. Now what you can do is put hardscape in, rocks, driftwood. You can begin planting it, fill the tank, and this will last for 20 years. So, happy fishing. Enjoy your new dirty. Well, good morning. This is Father Finn. This is the plant, the tank, that we set up yesterday as a dirted tank. Today we're going to scape it and plant it. There are a few little tricks I want to show you. Well, let's see. The first one goes to this black line of dirt sitting under the sand. Some, some people find that unattractive. So here's what we'll do about it. Take the end of your net, run it down along the edge of the tank, all the way to the bottom. Right through the sand to the bottom. What that does is it gets sand all the way to the bottom and completely disappears the dirt line without causing very much of a problem. You see, I am pulling up a little dirt, so you want to be careful doing this. But it'll get rid of that dark line all together. Just go slow, be patient, be gentle. You'll be able to clear it all up pretty easily. I'll let you can really see what I'm doing here. I'll bring the camera over a little later. And you'll be able to see that we've completely gotten rid of that visible dirt line. Soil line. There we go. That's pretty well got. We're going to level the sand out. Very good. Now, a couple of tricks. We're going to use a piece of driftwood and we're going to glue some plants to it. Here is an aquatic bird. Now, how do we do this? I have a tube of, of cement here that I can't get the lid off of. So, I've got a little hole in the side. I'm just going to squeeze it out. Make a little line of, of super glue about the length of the rhizome. And then Set the rhizome right on the super glue. Try to keep it off my fingers. And that's going to seal it right on there. Pretty good. I have to get this in water pretty quick. I've also got a, uh, a little that a petite. Get a little more glue out. Let's find a place for this. Over here, I think. There we go. Okay. I'll show you what that looks like. Now let's place it in the tank. Oh, this way. Kind of toward the back a little. Just barely press it down into the sand. We don't need to go deep. Just enough to keep it stable. 
go. I've got a few other plants I'm going to put in. Here's some, some uh, redwood weeds here. It'll go in one corner. There's another piece. Here's another piece. We'll do this all in one section here. Kind of group the plants. Then I have a, a nice bunch of parts screwed valve. I'll show you the tank these came out on later. It's a tank that's about 10 years old. It has not been touched except the full plants out of in the 10 years it's been set up. It's kind of my mother tank. Throws a lot of plants. I'm going to put these more or less to the back. See if we can form a kind of a curtain on the back. The tweezers that I'm using are so helpful to keep your fingers out of the dirt. Because the tweezers are much thinner than my big fat fingers. It's a lot less messy than it would otherwise be. I'm running these in front and in back of the uh, driftwood. There's a little piece of a cover. Let's see, we'll break some of that stem off. Put him in this corner. Get a little more I'll get. As soon as I finish these cork screws. Last one. One floating. Two floating. Do a little more of a copa. We can put this in the other corner. Those pretty rigid stems, so they press in pretty easily. So I've got a few other plants left. We have a, a little plant for the front. It's a, a Java temple. The plant came off the bulb when I pulled it out, but it'll continue to grow. It will eventually grow a new bulb. And just a few more here, right in the front. One, two. Okay. Another little bacopa. And that's it. Now what I need to do at this point is fill the tank. So I'll do this from my existing aquarium back here. Hold my hand over over the water so it doesn't stir up the bottom. The real trick with these dirty tanks is to make sure you don't stir the bottom up because if you do, you're gonna make a mess. You won't be able to clean it up. You have to tear the tank down to get it back to normal. Okay, that's enough water for now. Well, let's bring the net over, I mean the camera over and take a look, see if we can get a sense of what we're looking at here. Well, hello. We're back at, at this dirty tank again. I didn't get a chance to show you what it looks like with the plants in it, but I want to add a little more before we bring the camera up on it. I've got a few things I want to do. You'll notice I put a light on it. So let's get that lifted out of the way so we can work on this a little bit. I have 
have a large piece of rock here that I want to put in. So we're going to move a plant or two. Get this wood shifted. And I've got java fern. If this is a composite rock, it's a bunch of pieces glued together. Makes a kind of a nice piece. Let's get it down in here, toward the back, and then we'll lay the piece of driftwood just below it. Okay, and then we've got a couple of park screws that we, we need to put back in. But looking at it earlier, I noticed that there's not enough in the corners. So let's get these park screws over here in this corner. Okay, now there's a, something else I want to do. I have some small river gravel that I'm going to use to top off the sand, just to give it a different kind of look. I don't want it deep in here, particularly. I just want to kind of cover the surface with this river rock. And give it a more uh, rustic kind of, kind of look. And we don't need to cover the sand entirely. It'll still look good. Get this Java temple off the floor to get its leaves buried. There we go. have the fiesta hazy stalls, the fish. I've got a nice little mix of community fish, about a dozen. So we'll put them in. Let's bring the light back down. And here we are. Let's see what this looks like. It's a little bit cloudy because I've been working in it. Now I'm going to do this as a non-filtered tank. I might put a sponge filter in it just to make sure it gets cleared up for a little bubbler to move the water around. But mainly I want it to kind of take care of itself. So you can see there's a lot of activity in here. A pretty little tank, lots of different kinds of plants. It should take off and do well. Oh look, my temple is got gravel on them again. There we go. Okay, so a very simple planted aquarium that should stabilize and last for a very long time. Try this. You'll love it. Take care for now. This is Father Fish signing off. Well, I hope you found something you've never seen before. Have a great day. Nice having with us. Come on back.